What's up, everybody? I'm Steve Bertrand, and this is a takeover episode for Pro Tips for Paris. You're wondering, who's this guy? Where's Tanel? I've stolen Tanel's video clip. I'm just kidding. Uh, she's a bit busy and asked me to do some crossover content for Pro Tips for Paris, as I have cerebral palsy. So it's a little bit of a similarity between my function and a para, but in other ways, I'm classified a quadriplegic. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Basically, cerebral palsy, by definition, is a blunt force trauma to the head during birth. In my case, it was lack of oxygen from being three months premature. I was two pounds, seven ounces, and I was also pulled out with forceps. The <clears throat> motor cortex, which is behind the prefrontal cortex of the brain, is where the forceps gripped my head and squished my soft little baby brain 37 years ago. And that area of the brain affects vision, hearing, speech, uh, motor function, different things like that. And there's such a huge spectrum of how cerebral palsy gets affected between everybody that <clears throat> it just depends on luck of the draw, how much function you have, where it is, and what you're able to do. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my experience over the last 37 years, uh, being born with cerebral palsy, having it my whole life, growing up with it, being a kid in elementary school, going through high school, and being an adult, trying to function in this crazy world up to 2020, and what I have learned in that entire process. Alrighty, so I'm going to start from the beginning. In 1982, in June, uh, my mom went into labor early. Claims that it was because my father asked her to sew up a convertible top and that stress induced premature labor. From that result, I had lack of oxygen from underdeveloped lungs and I also needed to be pulled out with forceps at birth. So that caused the cerebral palsy based on the previous explanation of the prefrontal cortex. And how it affected me more specifically is I have limited hand function, so fine motor skills like writing, typing, especially with my left hand, because I don't have as much independent finger control, uh, were affected as well. I have full feeling all the way down to my toes I just don't have as much finite control with my toes, can't necessarily wiggle them. I can wiggle them or flex all of them together, just not independently. My arm on the left hand side does not fully extend and that's a muscle tension thing. And I can work that out on a regular basis. Every morning when I wake up, it's back to normal, which is somewhat tense and bent. The right hand and the right arm seems to fully extend fine. Uh, Legs, knees, hips, and lower back are all kind of tense. And if I was to stand up straight, I'm kind of arced in different ways. Butt sticks out, knees are bent, foot sort of toes in a lot of the ways because I have issues with my left hip. So growing up with cerebral palsy, growing up with a disability in general, in the 90s was awesome and it also sucked let me tell you why because the interesting thing is people talk about adults and teenagers being mean and going through high school and dealing with life is hard going through elementary school being somebody with a disability is harder than you think because kids don't mean to be mean to you they don't even know context they just start saying things and dealing with things and a lot of times you get excluded just because you can't play the sport or the activity that they're playing. So what does this do to somebody that's had to deal with a disability for 37 years from childhood? Well, in my experience, I would love to say that every single person grows up to be a strong, happy and healthy loving individual but 
I can't say if that's true because life beats the crap out of a lot of people. And it definitely beats the crap out of me. But what happened out of it was everything you see before you. And no, I'm not just talking about this beautiful face and this magical physique. I'm talking about everything that I've accomplished in my life. The rolling motivation that hopefully you'll go out and check from this video. My blog, rollingmotivation.com. Uh, we hate stairs where I've done some accessibility consulting. And now, just as a fun little side project, coolvehicles.ca. Why do I do all of these things? Well, partly, because I'm insane. Partly, because I like Gary Vaynerchuk, and I watch his stuff all the time. But the other reason is, I'm always trying different things because I want to be better as a human being, regardless of my disability. And where did I get that drive from? Number one, I got it from my parents. Number two, I got it from being disabled at a young age. Because you grow up and learn to be a problem solver and you look for solutions a lot sooner than other people do because you have to figure out how to put your shoes on. You have to figure out how to put your clothes on. You have to figure out how to do things that other people don't necessarily need to do. People learn how to take care of themselves at a very young age. And once they figure out how to do that, they kind of become self-sufficient and learn little skills as you move along. When you are disabled, you got a lot of curveballs thrown at you, either with, in my case, sometimes I'm a lot more spastic in the morning. If the weather's cold, if I've been dehydrated, if I've been partying the night before, having a few drinks, what I've eaten, uh, whether I'm sick with a cold or the flu, all of those things affect how my day starts and how it continues to go based on how my body reacts. The general population does not need to deal with that. So you either crumble from that or you start to find solutions to be able to deal with those things. And then from there, because that becomes your lifestyle, then you find that in everything else that you do. And that's how Rolling Motivation was born. It became an opportunity for me to gather my thoughts and share things with other people that eventually started bringing value. And I kept doing it. And that's how I met Tanel because I started doing that and accessibility consulting. And it just worked out through all the networking that I was doing. And she was starting to do some consulting as well because she had done some interior design. And the pro tips for Paris, basically it just all meshed together and worked out really well. I've said a lot of things in the last few minutes on this video. And to sum it up, all I'm here to tell you is that I want to help you and everyone else that I can talk to on a regular basis become better and more effective in their life. Whether they have a disability or not, it doesn't matter. Because if you look at it, everybody that you meet has some sort of disability. Whether it's their belief in themselves, whether it happens to be their paraplegic, whether they have cerebral palsy, whether they have, uh, you know, stigma around mental health issues, whatever the issue seems to be, I want people to be happier and healthier in their life. So you're going to see me from time to time. I'm going to do hostile takeovers of Pro Tips in Paris like I did today, and it's going to be awesome. I'm not going to knock Danelle out of her wheelchair and just take over the camera, even though I think that would look kind of cool. It would just be mean to her, and I like her too much for that. But the fact of the matter is that my goal when I wake up in the morning is to be better than I was the day before. And I want other people to have the ability to be able to do that. And I want to pass on my knowledge so everyone can have the opportunity to live the life and have the opportunities that I've had presented in front of me based on how I present myself to the people around me. So I'll see you soon. Get ready. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready. Put a hand up or something. First, pull yourself together. Some serious business over here. I'm not going to look at you because you give me weird eyes.
Right. Fix your shirt a little bit. <coughs> just down, just down here like this. Hold on. Is there anything on it? Better get it. 